about Wing Chun, I'm Sifu David. Today we're going to show you how to punch harder too. This is a continuation of our popular video, How to Punch Harder Number 1. So due to popular demand, we're coming back with 5 more techniques on how to increase your punching power. Stay to the end of this video and you're going to get a secret technique. So let's get started. Technique number 5 to increase your punching power is adding rotational force into your punches. So let me show you how to do that right now. Okay. Rotational force. There's different body parts of your body that rotate. All right. So if you start from the feet, your feet can rotate by rotating out the heel. Your knees will rotate by rotating in. Your hip rotates by rotating in like this also. And uh, your shoulder, your waist rotates. Your shoulder rotates back and forth like this. All right. So those are the three main ways of rota adding rotational force. There's more, but then those are the basic ones. Okay, so rotating the heel and the foot out like this, rotating the hips and the waist, and then rotating the shoulders. All right. So I'm not here to impress you with how hard I can hit. I'm just going to show you how you can increase your punching power by adding these techniques. Okay, so let's just start with isolating each one. So let's say that I'm just going to rotate my shoulders. All right, just my shoulders. Okay, I'm trying to just isolate that part, maybe the other parts are connected. So let's say that I just do my shoulders. All right, so that's the, the gauge to start with. All right, it's not that strong, it's not that powerful because I'm only using my shoulders. Okay, now let's say that I add my waist and my hips a bit, and my shoulders together. Okay, so, so we added that. How much more impact is that? I'd say about 1.5. 1.5 more times, okay, just by engaging another part of your body. Okay. Now, the third one, I'm going to add, I'm going to add my feet to rotate together with my hips, together with my shoulders. All right. So, okay. So I added my hips, my, my feet, my shoulders. How much more impact is that one? Like twice. Twice as much. Okay. Now, you can practice. Ideally, what you want to do is start a kinetic chain, and we'll come back to that in a second. Kinetic chain means that we're going to start from the ground because all, most of your energy when you punch comes from the ground. So we're going to bring it up from the feet, up to your knees, up to your hips, up to your waist, up to your shoulders, and into your fist. Okay? So when you pass, when you practice, do it slowly. Start with, the, start with the feet, and then rotate it and spiral it out to your, to your shoulders, and then into your hands. So do something like this. Like that. Alright? So that's adding rotational force. Let's move on to number four. Technique number four to add power into your punch is something called spring force. Now, it's not very commonly used and very misunderstood because uh, spring force is used a lot in Wing Chun and it doesn't use any rotational power. Okay, so let me just demonstrate that. So, spring force does not use rotational power, it uses other body parts on your body, other body mechanics, uh, other parts of your alignment. So, let's just take a look at the springs in the body, okay? Uh, the biggest one is obviously your legs. These are springs. Okay, so that's one spring. Is your knees, your legs. It's actually your hamstrings that are pulling it, your legs back. Okay, and also your quads. Okay, the second spring that is um, a lot of people find hard to train is the back spring. See a turtle shell? Now it's straightened it up. See a turtle shell? Now it's straightened up. So it's a C that strains up like that. That's the second spring. Okay? There's another spring that many people don't even know about either. Is this spring. Okay? This is a spring that is um, the squeezing of your lats and sinking of your shoulders. Okay? So if you combine all those three, I'm going to do the same thing and isolate them again. Okay? So this time, just hold it in the chest here. Okay? Come a little bit closer. So let's just do the shoulder without doing using any other spring. Okay. Okay. So that's just the shoulder. Okay. Now I'm going to add the lower back spring with my shoulder. Okay. So uh, in a very short distance. Okay. And then I'm going to add my legs a little bit with the back and then with the spring. Okay. So that's another way of generating power. Spring power. It's not natural to do that. It takes a lot of training to do this. Um, if you see people fighting in, this, in the street fight, you're going to see this a lot. 
naturally people use rotational power because it's easy, it's, people, you know, it's part of your body mechanics. Uh, but spring power is also natural to, not humans, but natural to animals. Okay? If you study tigers, if you study uh, chimpanzees that jump, or squirrels that fly from tree to trees, that's the actual the body mechanics that are used. It's called spring power. So um, I'm not going to go into depth with it. This is just to give you a concept today. So um, that's the fourth way, fourth technique of adding power to your punches, spin power. The third technique of adding power to your punches is joint force. Now, what is joint force? It's actually more about uh, joint connection rather than joint force. Now, imagine you had a noodle, wet noodle, and you're trying to push something with it. What happens? Does it move or does it not? No. Does it move? It doesn't move because it's a wet noodle, right? right. So, um, what I'm trying to say is, if your arm is a wet noodle and your joints are all disconnected, then if I push something, it's not going to move. Okay? So joint force is the ability to lock in your joints so that when you push, all the parts are connected together. Okay, so that when you push, all that energy is transferred through it, it does not lose the power through the connections, through the joints. Okay, so um, how to demonstrate this is through the inch punch. Okay, because a lot of it is joint, is, is joint force. Okay, I'm going to do the inch punch differently from Bruce Lee. He likes to do it with this. Uh, but that's using rotational force, actually. So now, without rotational force, I have to do this using joint force. So the last video I showed you, this one, is actually a little bit of joint force in there. Okay, so um, joint force you can add by basically relaxing and then basically starting that kinetic chain using the spring and tightening up as fast as possible. Okay, so there's not, you don't see much, but if you add it to the other two, it makes a big difference, okay? So, for example, let's say I'm gonna do rotational force, okay? Rotational force, boom. All right, that's rotational force, and I'm gonna not add joint force, okay? Now I'm gonna add joint force to rotational force. Okay, how much stronger is that one? I already did on that last one. <laughs> okay, yeah. so it's not something obvious because it has to do with the connections of your joints um, and the timing of the uh, tightening of your fist and of your, of your joints when you make that impact, okay? So it's not obvious how you train that. We can show you some uh, in the next video, uh, but that's technique number three, joint force. Technique number four to increase your punching power is to add breath force. What is breath force? Is the power of breathing, is the power of relaxation, is the power of um, focused breathing. Okay? So let's just demonstrate again. Okay, we don't have to use your chest this time. Just hold on here. Thanks. I appreciate that. Okay. So um, I always use rotational because it's the most obvious, you can see it very clearly on camera. Okay? So uh, rotational force without breathing. Okay? Okay, that's rotational force without breathing. Okay, now I'm going to add breathing to it, so, okay, how much more impact is that? Uh, yeah, there, there's a significant amount more. How much more? Uh, 1.75. 1.75, that much? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's actually surprising because I didn't add any more power or effort into that. I just breathed. I just breathed out. Okay, so just... Just actually, um, what I would do is get a friend, hold up a pad like that, don't punch him in the head or punch him in the, in the chest, and just do what I did. Just do a punch, very, very minimal breathing, okay? And just do another punch with the same amount of effort, and just breathe in, take a deep breath, and use the same effort and ask him how much more impact there is. And he says, actually, 1.75 more. Yeah, that's actually surprising. So yeah, so the number two technique is to add breathing and focus breathing into your attacks. Okay, so I know a lot of you are going to be, um, you know, critics and say, okay, I'm not punching properly or you don't have enough time to take a deep breath like that 
or uh, you don't have time to set up your punches. Okay, this is not about using it as a technique. I'm just showing you a concept of how you can put it into your own training to increase your punching power. These are five concepts, right? Okay, so with that said, let's go into concept number five and technique number five, which is using mind force. Okay, what is mind force? What the hell am I talking about? Okay, so so far I've shown you everything that has to do with something that can be seen. Rotation force, you can see that. Um, spring force, you can see that. Joint force, you can kind of see that. Breath, you can see that, you can hear that. But what is mind force? All right, well, let me just demonstrate, okay? So, uh, hold the pad, okay? And I'm just gonna punch it with rotational force again, okay? Okay, so that's a regular one. Now I'm gonna use a technique using the mind, all right? And I'll tell you what it is in a second. What's the difference? Uh, I felt a lot more of a, as if you were projecting a lot further through the through the mitt. Through the mitt. Yeah. Okay. Now, sorry, I'm gonna use your chest a bit. Okay. I don't hit that hard. Okay. So this is just um, just the regular one. I'm not gonna hit that hard. Okay. Now this is with a little bit of mind force. What's the difference? Yeah. Yeah. I just felt like the, the impact just shot right through me. Okay. So what am I doing in my mind? It's very simple. All right. It's creating a trajectory with your mind. Okay, targeting not just the surface, but targeting inside the body. Okay, so imagine that you are going to put a needle into the body. Where in the body you want to put that needle with the power of your punch? Okay, so for example, the first one I'm trying to clear my mind, just hitting, I'm not even thinking about the target, I'm just thinking about just the surface of it. The second time, I'm doing thinking about inside his body. I want that needle to go inside his body and not past his body. So for example, I want to go in the body. That went a little bit too far, right? So I want to go... Yeah. Yeah. Right? So what, how about that feel? All right. Kind of like crumpling inside. Okay. And I didn't really hit that hard. No. It's about targeting inside the body. Mm. Okay? So imagine if you can combine all those five things. Rotational force, spring force, joint force, breath force, and mind force, which is basically just trajectory, and the intention of where you want to target in the body, how much more powerful will you be strikes? If you think about it, then you don't actually have to hit that hard to cause damage in your attacker, okay? So a lot of people say, okay, I'm gonna make bigger muscles, I'm gonna bench more uh, weights in the gym. But you know what? You don't need to if you can have all those things working for you, right? So. Now, it's time to show you the bonus technique. Alright, so here's the secret technique you've been waiting for. Now, we've been talking about how to increase power, right? You got rotational, you got spring force. Now, now let's do the secret technique. The secret technique will be to combine all five of them. Okay? So, <laughs> so first of all, you might want to practice each one of them, and it may take you six months to um, train each one individually, all right, to get good at it. But once you can get good at it, then you can start combining them together. For example, let's say I want to combine number one, uh, number five, and number four. I want to combine in my spring power with my rotational power. Okay, so here's rotational power. Okay, here's spring power. Now let's say I want to combine number five and four, rotational spring power. Okay. Now, is that stronger or less strong? Oh yeah, a lot stronger, right? Stronger. Okay. Yeah. So let's say I want to do uh, and add uh, number three, which is uh, joint force. Okay. So I got I got spring, I got rotation, and then I'm going to add joint force. Okay. So okay. So is that harder than the last one? Yeah, solid, solid, right? Yeah. Okay. And let's. I didn't even start adding breathing, right? You can hear me breathe. Mm -hmm. So let's start breathing. Okay. So I'm going to take a breath. Okay. And then add the spring power, add the rotational power, add the joint force, okay? So, okay, a little bit more, right? Yeah. Okay, and I didn't add the uh, mind trajectory. So let's say I add the trajectory, I want to go past the target, okay? So, okay, but what's the difference from the last one? Uh, just, just felt like the full impact of 
yeah, like just realizing like the full potential of of his strike. So it mm -hmm. just felt you just feel like the whole the full, the whole manifestation of it. So right, okay. And does it look like I'm using a lot of effort? Not at all. You look relaxed, mm -hmm. and uh, you're 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 light and you're loose, but not lax like you were saying before with just have being like wet noodle. Right. Okay. So thanks, I got. So that's the secret technique. So it takes a lot of time to train those individually to get good at them, but once you put it all together, you can make your own combination and you can find out what works for you. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and then check out my other videos on this website and on this, on this, uh, on this video and on this channel. So we'll see you soon in the next video.